Let's talk cable management. So there's a few ways that you can do cable management and I'll show you them. Uh, first I want to talk about, uh, we won't be using in this case just because it's not needed, but for people who have like, you know, remote observatories or they have just generally a lot of cables, a bigger setup even, you can put up to like five cables through this thing. This is a cable sleeve and it opens up pretty wide and you just slip everything through and it allows you basically to just have one cable instead of a bunch of cables dangling. So it really cleans up that mess and it has a, it's really cool. <laughs> it has a nice effect on cleaning up all of your cables. Uh, another thing that is very common for people to use is like Velcro straps. This one allows you to feed through a little loop so that it tightens very, very well. So this is something that we also use in other setups, like with a cable sleeve, for example, to really tidy things up and keep it very close together. And then the last one that we'll actually be using in this video is uh, 3D printed materials. So you can order these online. We will have a link below for you to buy some of these. They kind of come a little different. This one, for example, goes around the ASI Air so you can like snap it. I'll do that in just a moment. And then this one here is a little different. This one goes around the camera so you can tidy up the cables there. I'll just be using the ASI Air um, 3D printed cable management tool here. I'll be using two actually, just so that they kind of feed into each other and keep it clean. So you want to be sure that you're not, you know, moving it too much that it breaks. Um, they're pretty sturdy, but I'll put it around the ASI Air here. And actually I might, I think this is about as far as it goes anyway, because of the um, guide scope here. And then I'll add the other one to the other side. Actually, I might have to take it off. One moment. Of course, you always want to be sure that you're handling your ASI air, sliding it out so that it doesn't fall. Attach it here, slide it through. I like to make sure that it's towards the middle so that it's not falling off on the ends. And if you can, it's always great to make sure that it's, you know, being hugged by another uh, <laughs> cable, like this one, for example, if I had, if I was able to scoot it up a little bit more, the cable could protect it from falling down, but it stays in place pretty well. So we'll go ahead and attach that back, tighten the screws. Perfect. And I'm gonna jump to the front of this setup really quick. Hi, excuse me. <laughs> um, so, I know it's kind of like backtracking maybe just a little bit, but we're gonna have to plug and unplug things. Now that we know where they go, it's not as hard to take them out and put them right back in. So you'll wanna clean this up a little bit more. One thing to note um, is that you'll want to make sure that the things closest to the ASI Air stay tight and tidy, but the ones leading to the mount, like the USB cable here, that one you wanna keep loose, as well as the power cable that goes to the ASI Air to the mount. Those don't need to be tightened at all or tidied up. They will move around and you wanna be sure you have enough slack so that there's no you know, damage to the cables. So it's always, it's always kind of like hard to find a place to start. So um, I'll leave this connected here. This goes to the camera. And uh, the nice thing about these 3D printed um, ASI Air cable management holders is that they have these ridges and you can hear them as I've been kind of putting them in. They have ridges in there so that you can easily just slide them down so you can have at least three cables slid into here at one time. So this is like pretty nice, pretty tight. And another thing to note is that if you're going to um, attach, like this cable for example goes to the camera, you wanna be sure that there's a little bit of slack just in case you want to rotate your camera. But if that's not in your, um, you know, imaging plans for tonight, no big deal. Okay, so now that we have that one ready to go, we have this other one that plugs into the ASI Air. So this one is kind of big, um, but you can still do it. You can snap it, maybe even on the first one. They they have a quite a bit of leeway, so you don't have to worry. Just, you know, be careful about how much you, um, um, you know, squeeze your little cable because you want to make sure that they're going to be reading information. That was not planned. So we've snapped it here um, onto the tops and just gonna plug it in, perfect. So we'll go ahead and take this one out here. Um, 
want to be careful with that. This is one that leads to the mount. And again, we said that we didn't really want to um, make this tight, but in this case, you know, it is quite long. So I'll go ahead and uh, maybe just loop it through once. I'll put it back into its port. And then maybe just loop it one time through here. Um, and then I'll plug this EAF cable out just so that it's right here. It shouldn't cause any trouble here, but at, at the very least it's going, you know, through the cable management um, tool and it's not causing us any problems. And I'll unplug this one. Well, actually I'll leave it plugged in. And this one we could probably loop in there twice. Just to make sure that it's, you know, not gonna go anywhere. and then we'll plug it right back into where it's supposed to be. Always making sure that it's facing the right direction. So it's still a little, all right, it's not too tight. But again, this is not gonna move, so it's not a problem at all. Um, let's see, I think that's about it for our cables. So I think maybe one thing to look at here is like where everything lands. So we talked about having slack with cables and you know, this one as we're looking at it, it's not very good because it's, you know, hitting the antenna of the ASI Air. Um, it's kind of going through a bunch of different things, but we can loop it through this, um, the telescope holder here and make sure that it's not impacting any of the other pieces that will move if it moves around. So I think at this point we're pretty good, pretty set here. And one last thing, you know, we talked about different methods for cable management. You can also take one of these just to help clean up any extra cables that you have. So for example, we can put it, you know, right here. If you really want to keep it super duper tidy and keep these like together, that's also fine. If you want to take the two cables coming from the mount and put them together as well with this, you can also feel free to do that just so it feels like it's, you know, one, one, the closer you get to just like one cable, the better, the better it's gonna be. You don't have to worry about any cable snagging or any problems, so. Uh, that's cable management. Um, if you're a very tidy, organized, neat person, this is probably gonna be a really fun part for you. It is a little time consuming, but we can assure you it's 100% worth it. You don't have to worry about anything, especially if this is like your regular rig, you can just feel free to take things off or actually just leave them there. <laughs> especially if you're just taking it from inside to the outside of your house. So that was cable management. The Galactic Course Ultimate Bundle gives you hundreds of lessons covering all types of astrophotography, as well as processing guides for getting the very best out of your data, all in one place. You might wonder why pay when you can find free tutorials on YouTube. I have spent years building the Galactic Course to make it the absolute best possible astrophotography resource on the internet. No more wasting time bouncing around random YouTube videos. Everything you need is right there on your dashboard, always updated. And there is so much more than that. Courses have videos, detailed text, downloadables, a glossary, discounts, and are linked to the Galactic Lounge forum as well as Discord, where you can get help, share your pics, and interact with other members at any time. The Galactic Course is designed with learning in mind. No fluff, no annoying music. Just clear teaching designed to make you the best astrophotographer you can be. Don't just trust me, also trust the hundreds of other members who have reviewed the content. Join one of the bundles now or start with any course, link in the description.